So. Yeah. I actually, I'm not a beer drinker, but I would like to know the science behind it because I know there is a lot going into it. So, sounds pretty cool to me. Hey, when it comes to the forecast, guys, I hope you liked this weekend because we got a lot of the same in today's forecast. Satellite radar quiet from state line to state line. Nothing in the way of significant rain or snow. What we have out there over the Pacific Northwest and the Great Basin will stay to the north. So, we're going to be looking at another mostly dry day. Our temperature is this morning in the 30s and 40s to the north, 40s and 50s to the south. Albuquerque, 53 degrees, looking at colder temperatures along I-40 to the west. Now, in general, we do have quite a bit of moisture still hanging out over eastern New Mexico. You see the relative humidity is here, most of us between 90 and 100 percent. That leftover moisture causing some of these low clouds and fog to develop. You see the reduced visibilities out there in Clayton and Tucum Carry. Just make sure if you run into some of the patchy fog, you slow your speeds and use your low beams. As far as the Albuquerque area goes, our temperatures today beautiful. Looking at the low 70s by the lunch hour, upper 70s to low 80s late day. Our average for this time of year 69, and we're going to be more than 10 degrees above that today. The forecast highs statewide, 70s up to the north. 80s and low 90s to the south. So enjoy those warm temperatures while we have them. I do think a cool down is in store late week into the weekend. But the rain and snow chances, just not great today. We will be watching far eastern New Mexico for a few spotty thunderstorms. The coverage here is pretty low, and even the severe weather threat is low with any given storm. So we'll be watching for a few of these spot storms to try and get together past lunch hour. But I wouldn't necessarily rearrange your day over these storm chances. The majority of us dealing with the sunshine and those nice temperatures. I mean, for the most part, we're getting pretty lucky with those uh, conditions out there. Tomorrow looks to be even warmer. Breezy conditions starting to work their way into the forecast though come Tuesday, and then winds really ramp up as we get into late week here as the storm system crosses to the north. Now, when it comes to the rain and snow, it's still kind of a question mark as to just how much we're going to see. I do think there is a possibility of a few spot thunderstorms up to the north as we get into Thursday and Friday, but most of these seven-day forecasts dry for the next seven days. Southern Colorado, sunny skies with high temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s this afternoon. Warmer tomorrow in Durango before a string of 60s kicks in Wednesday. Northwest, a lot of sunshine too with 77 in Farmington, 75 in Gallup, low 70s in Cuba and Dole State today. Overnights back down to the 30s and 40s. Southwest, sunny skies with high temperatures in the upper 70s to mid 80s today. Las Cruces at 86, upper 80s stretches through Thursday before cooler temperatures arrive for the weekend. Southeast, plenty of sunshine. We will be watching for the temperatures to climb all the way into the 80s and low 90s. Warmer tomorrow in Roswell. And then as we finish up the work week and start the weekend, we will see temperatures climb back closer to normal. Northeast, we talked about our storm chances for today. Again, we'll let you know if any of those turn strong to severe. I don't expect many to, but you'll notice the temperatures certainly warm enough, upper 60s to mid 70s today. We'll tack on another 4 to 5 degrees tomorrow. Northern Mountains, mostly sunny with high temperatures in the 60s and 70s today. Sunny skies on top. Overnight, it's back down to the 20s, 30s, and 40s. East Mountains looking at plenty of sunshine today. Warm temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. A few degrees warmer tomorrow. Cooler temperatures expected Thursday into Friday. Metro, sunny skies with high temperatures mostly in the low 80s today. We will see light winds out of the southwest about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Low 80s continue tomorrow. Breezy on, wind, on Wednesday, that is, with windy conditions Thursday, Friday. Cooler temperatures actually arrive Friday into Saturday with overnight lows back down to the 40s and 50s. So not looking at a big blockbuster storm rolling through the state, but this storm that is crossing to the north is going to send out a couple of cold fronts there, and that's why you see the wiggle in the temperatures. We will let you know, though, if we need to modify those rain chances on air and, of course, online. It's such a small wiggle, though. Like, yeah. one bitty bitty. Yeah, know, I mean, we're going to lose about 10 to 20 by Friday into Saturday. Because we've been so warm, mm -hmm. though, it'll leave us back down closer to normal. So. Okay. Thanks, Kristen. Yeah.